Hey there, welcome to Learn OpenCV. In this video, we're going to learn about image thresholding using OpenCV. Image thresholding is used to separate object from the background where each pixel value is classified into either foreground or background based upon predefined threshold values. For this, OpenCV has a function called threshold. It inputs the source image and the threshold value as well as the max pixel value and the type of thresholding to perform. But wait, why do we have seven types of thresholding and what does each one do? Well, let's understand them on code. To follow along with me, open the Learn OpenCV blog post link from the description, click on the download code banner, fill in your details and hit enter. You'll receive the starter code link on your email, download it and let's get started. We first import OpenCV and read the image. Make sure to read the image as grayscale. This is the image we will perform thresholding on. Now use the function cv2.threshold and pass the source image, the threshold value, max pixel value and the threshold type. Let's start with thresh binary. The function returns an optimal threshold value if it has been calculated and the thresholded image. Next, display the image and run the code. Any pixel value below the threshold value 130 becomes 0 and pixels above 130 become 255, the max val. If we change the max val to say 100, the image becomes black and grey instead of black and white. Now let's try the next thresholding type, thresh binary inv as an inverted. It converts any pixel value below the threshold value to the max val and otherwise it converts them to zero. Next is truncate which is given by thresh trunk. If the pixel value is above the threshold value, it gets truncated and other pixel values remain unchanged. So max val is not needed in this type. If these concepts are difficult to grasp, Check out OpenCV University's free OpenCV Bootcamp. Go to opencv.org slash university slash free courses to know more. Next thresholding type is thresh to zero. Any pixel value below the threshold becomes zero and pixel values above the threshold remain unchanged. Maxval is not needed here as well. Likewise, thresh to zero INV works the opposite. Any pixel value above the threshold becomes zero and remains unchanged otherwise. Max val is not needed here as well. Finally, the last two thresholding types are thresh otsu and thresh triangle. These use otsu and triangle algorithm to find the optimal threshold value, which will be returned in our variable th. The pixel values below the optimal threshold become zero, otherwise they become max val. So for these, we need not provide the threshold value, but we need to provide the max val. Here are both the results side by side. So that's all about image thresholding using OpenCV. If you like this video, check out the complete playlist on getting started with OpenCV. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.